what do Kendall Jenner, Tom Hanks, and Cardi B all have in common? Well, they've all been photo uh, photographed by an up-and-coming photographer from Philadelphia. I sat down with him to learn, number one, how he made it. But then at the end of the interview, he surprised me. Photographs capture memories. Griffin Lipson captures life. And I just like fell in love with people and interacting with people. And that definitely was like the start or like the spark. And that love helped the Penn Charter grad earn his first break when a woman took an open seat next to him on an otherwise average train ride. It turned out to be that she was a photo editor at the New York Times. She looked at the 22-year-old's photos and soon after he was hired. Griffin's very first subject, none other than Oscar-winning actress Nicole Kidman. I was so green, I was so naive. I didn't really understand like the magnitude of what was actually happening in the moment. He was learning on the job. Photographing famous actors like Tom Hanks, Timothy Chalamet, and Margot Robbie. From the exposure from the Times, I was able to connect with other clients. And so, at just 24 years old, he took a risk deciding to freelance. He found himself at glamorous events like Art Basel and the Met Gala, where he photographed rapper Cardi B getting ready, rushing to release the shot to the world moments later. Within 20 minutes, every news publication had like reposted it. And that was truly like a viral, viral, viral moment. It was everywhere. Today, his art may be photography. That's cute, you can laugh. But he tells me the real craft is getting his subjects comfortable, like he did with Kendall Jenner, traveling the country with the model, going from admirer to peer. I approach Kendall and the team like I approach anybody in my life. And we have a friendship and we develop that. It's that love for people that now draws in dozens of stars. Meryl Streep, Pedro Pascal, Denzel Washington, rising star Sydney Sweeney. And I've loved building that relationship and I'm like so proud to see where she's at. Near the top of his list, human rights activist Malala Yousafzai. It's a source of inspiration that I go to often. I think about that one a lot. The Philly native collaborates with his subjects like people, not stars, which got me thinking. My brain went through like, oh, how do we do this creatively? And I'm like, would you shoot me? Yeah. <laughs> you would? <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> like right now? I have my camera. <laughs> you look at me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a scary moment oh, right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so the question is, do we have a picture of that? Did yeah, you? We do. We've got evidence that right, it happened. All uh, right, let's see it. It was an honor to be a subject. It really Aww. was. Um, and they came out great. I mean, he knows what he's doing clearly. I don't. I don't belong among the same uh, <laughs> group of people as he's photographed. But um, you know what? In all seriousness, he's done a lot for Philly, too. He loves giving back. He loves coming back. He speaks at Penn Charter um, pretty often to talk to students there. He said that was a real formidable time in his yeah, life. Yeah. At one point, they even carved out space for him in an empty math class for a photo studio. Wow. Which is really neat. That's yeah. cool. Isn't that neat? Like growing a, growing a dream for him. And now we can say that this uh, celebrity photographer... <laughs> has, has photographed has our photograph very own Keith Jones. A, a non-celebrity, perfect. That's cool, though. <laughs> it is really cool. And, he's, no, and, and look, you can see that. you can see his talent. You can yeah. see why everybody wants him to shoot them. them. Yeah, yeah. You These know, I remember that. I remember that uh, shot of Cardi B, mm -hmm. and it looks like she's like looking like right at him. Like it's a candid shot, but it's like it's. Yeah. You can see why it went viral. He said he had 20 minutes to turn that picture around to post and that's and it went viral. The team had to like approve one photo out of thousands that he took. Yeah. And they like they kind of knew the the moment there they said okay it was I think it happened when she was walking towards you and then they went through like hundreds of pictures to find it. Chose the one then they have to you have to airbrush and do all the yeah, yeah, yeah. turn all the dials and then boom it's out there. That's how quick. He had a studio like on site. Yep. And then it went viral. <laughs> Crazy, right? All right, that does it.